We all remember when our junior high science teacher made something bubble over or smoke. All of a sudden, science became fun and exciting. As somebody who won the most inquisitive award in third grade, I've always been fascinated with the how and the why of science, especially when it comes to gardening. The more you get involved in something like gardening, your vocabulary often starts changing. We start using words like pinching, cutback, dieback, broadleaf. For new gardeners, these words might seem intimidating and foreign. For older gardeners, you might know what these words mean and what that means to do in the garden, but do we really know what's happening in the garden? That's why we're introducing a new segment this season called Simple Science. During these segments, we're going to break down the science of gardening and explain what's happening in the garden when you do some of these tasks in a simple, straightforward, fun way. Let's get started. Simple Science. The simple science of fixing nitrogen. Ah, take a deep breath. You know that 78% of the air that we're breathing is actually made up of nitrogen. Yes, that same nitrogen that we're so often talking about putting on our plants. The problem is, is that the nitrogen that's in the air is a tightly bound molecule of N2. And this molecule of nitrogen is not usable by plants. It's like if I needed a writing utensil and somebody gives me an unsharpened pencil. Thanks, but what good is this gonna do me? Most plants need nitrogen in the form of nitrates or NO3 or ammonium or N. H4. And these molecules are very rarely found in nature, so much so that we typically have to apply nitrogen to most plants. In our soil, it's soil bacteria that doesn't get enough credit. In fact, it's the bacteria and several different kinds of bacteria that are crucial to converting our atmospheric nitrogen into a usable form for plants. This takes several different types of bacteria and several different steps in order to make that nitrogen usable to plants. It's like taking several steps to get your pencil sharpened. However, there are certain plants known as legumes that are able to fix this problem. You see, legumes do what's called fixing nitrogen or nitrogen fixation. They have nodules on their roots, which make a perfect place for certain bacteria to live. In exchange for having a place to live, this bacteria quickly converts atmospheric nitrogen into a usable form for plants. It's a symbiotic relationship. It's like having a quick way to sharpen that pencil. Because legumes can fix their own nitrogen, we typically don't think about fertilizing with nitrogen fertilizer on legume plants like we do other plants. In fact, that fixed nitrogen is not only accessible to legumes, but sometimes some nearby plants as well. Even more nitrogen is made available to nearby plants when we break down those legume plants and incorporate them into the soil. A couple of common legumes that you might be aware of are beans and alfalfa. But legumes are the only plants that really can fix nitrogen. All of our other plants rely on us providing them nitrogen in some form. But thanks to modern science, we can go down to our local nursery and get plant accessible nitrogen just as easily as, well, a pencil that doesn't need sharpening. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.